Hey there, this is Ryan with Pro Service Plumbing. I'm um, just going over a new Renai RXB199 that we just finished putting in. Um, where I'm actually standing, there used to be a 50 gallon tank filled with hot water ready to go, but constantly having to keep that tank ready for the off chance that you end up using it. Um, that water heater was actually vented up through the roof. Um, it was what's known as an orphaned water heater, um, which can potentially be a safety hazard for carbon monoxide fumes not making it all the way through the roof due to a cooled off B vent. Um, so if your house is equipped with just a water heater going into a vent like that, it would be wise to get an assessment of it to see if it is sized correctly for an orphaned water heater. Um, but this client's was not, so we went ahead and swapped with a direct vented appliance. Um, so this tankless water heater did need new water piping brought down. Um, we also did need to increase the gas pressure because when it is being used, it does require more fuel to heat that water a lot faster. Um, so we ended up putting in a couple of gas regulators at a couple different locations where there are gas appliances to knock that two pound gas pressure back down to the acceptable quarter PSI that these units need to run. Um, we also did need to install a condensate neutralizer um, because this is a condensing unit. It does produce condensate that is acidic and needs the pH does need to be brought back up. And that is terminated over here at a new floor drain that we finished installing. Um, so this unit and this client um, now get to experience endless hot water and only hot water when they truly need it. So um, if you have any questions or would love to discuss an installation in your home of the Renai, we'd love to help. Thank you for watching our video.